All right, this video will talk about um, concentration mixture problems. The best way to see how these work is to do some examples. But before we do that, I want you to look at the buckets. We have bucket plus bucket equals mix. This is different from the dry mixture problems in that we put the percent concentration instead of a unit price. So across the top, we put the, the percent concentration, and in the bottom of the bucket, as with any other bucket problem, we put the amount that we have. Here's our first problem. A farmer has 190 liters of a 70% herbicide solution. How much of a 95% solution should he add in order to have an 80% herbicide solution? All right, the first thing we need to do is in the top of each bucket, put our percent concentration. So this one is 70%, the second one is 95%, and in our mix we want 80%. In the bottom of the bucket we're going to put how much we have. Now, we're told that we have 190 liters of the 70% solution, so I'm going to put 190 here. I don't know how much of the 95%, that's my unknown, that's my X. Now, if I add 190 plus X, I've got 190 plus X for the bottom of my mixture bucket. Now I need my equation. I'm going to multiply my buckets, but when I do that, I need to make sure that I turn my percents into decimals. 0.70 times 190 plus 0.95 times X equals 0 0.80 times 190 plus x. All right, I'm going to solve this equation and we'll see where we go from there. When I clear my parentheses and do my multiplication, I get 133 plus 0.95x equals 152 plus 0.80x. Now, in order to clear my decimals, I'm going to multiply all the way through by 100. That means for this number, I'm going to have to go over two places, and that's where I put my decimal point. Here, I'm going to go over two places. Here, I'm going to go over two places, which means i got to put a couple zeros in. And here, I'm going to go over two places. All right, so my new equation has no decimal values at all. This is a pretty straightforward equation to solve, so I just need to solve it for x. When I solve this, I get x equals approximately 126.7. Now, in your assignment, when you do these problems, it will tell you what to round your answers to. I rounded this to the nearest tenth. All right, so once I have my solution, remember what x stood for. x stood for the amount of 95% solution I have, which is what I'm asked to find. So now I can write my, my conclusion. He must add 126.7 liters of the 95% solution. Alright, this problem says an automobile radiator contains 12 liters of 25% antifreeze. The serviceman wants to up the concentration to 50%. How much of the 25% solution must be drained off and replaced with pure antifreeze? Now this is a little different than the last one because I'm going to start with 25% antifreeze and I've got 12 liters. Now here's the deal. I need to drain some off so I need to subtract a certain amount and what I'm going to subtract is also going to be 25 percent because that's what's in there right now. Now I have no idea how much I'm going to take off but I'm going to drain some of that 25 percent antifreeze. Then I'm going to add back pure antifreeze. Now pure antifreeze is a hundred percent antifreeze. And how much am I going to add back? Well, I'm going to add back the same amount that I took out. So if I took out x liters, I'm going to add x liters to replace that. 
and what I end up with is a mix. And my mix is supposed to be 50% antifreeze. Now, if I look what I have across the bottom, I have 12 minus x plus x. And so, all together, that gives me 12. I start with 12 liters. I'm going to take some out, put the same amount back, so I should end with 12 liters. All right, let's get our equation. Just follow the buckets. I've got 25% times 12 minus 25% times x plus 100%, that's 1.00 times x, and that equals 50% times 12. Okay, let's solve this. I've solved the equation and I get x equals 4. Now x stood for the amount that I was going to take off and the amount of pure antifreeze that I was going to put back. So I can put my 4 over here for my solution and then I will write my conclusion. Therefore, 4 liters should be replaced. Alright, this last example is an example of diluting a concentration to get um, a less concentrated solution. So I'm trying to find out how many gallons of pure water must be added to 10 gallons of 30% salt water to make a solution that's 25% salt water. Okay, so what we have here, I've got 30% salt and I've got 10 gallons. Now if I'm going to add pure water, pure water is 0% salt. How much do I have? Well, I don't know. That's my x. Now my mixture is going to be 25% salt. And how much do I have? Well, according to this picture, I've got 10 plus x. So 10 plus x. Multiply my buckets. I get 0 0.30 times 10 plus 0 times x equals 0.25 times 10 plus x, and I'll solve that. When I solve this, I get x equals 2. That means I need to add 2 gallons of the pure water to the 30% salt water. So now I can write my conclusion. Therefore, we must add 2 gallons of water. In summary, when you do concentration mixture problems, you use buckets. A couple things to remember. One is that when you're diluting with water, that means it's 0% of your concentration. When you are adding a pure element, like we did with the antifreeze, that's 100% concentration. So you use those just like you would the other concentrations. And the other hint that I would give you would be um, to change the percent to a decimal before multiplying and then clear your equation of decimals.